Hello, I am Muhammad Udemi. I'm joined today by author Tamika Fryer Brown. Tamika Fryer Brown is an award winning picture book author whose titles include My Cold Plum, Lemon Pie Bluesy Mood, and Brown Baby Lullaby, as well as forthcoming 12 Dining Doorbells and Shirley Chisholm's Not Done Yet. Brown currently resides in Charlotte, North Carolina. Mrs. Brown, thank you for joining us. Would you please read an excerpt from your book? Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Mahamadou. Um, I'll read for you today an excerpt from my book called My Cold Plum Lemon Pie Bluesy Mood. And this story is about a boy named Jamie, who's kind of in his feelings one particular day. But Jamie doesn't use plain old boring words to describe what he's feeling. He has a much more interesting and colorful way of doing that. So I'll read a couple of pages so you can see what I'm talking about. It starts like this. I'm in a mood, a feeling kind of mood. A being kind of mood is what I'm in a purple kind of mood, cold plum eating, grape juice drinking, on the couch bobbing to the beat kind of mood, a purple kind of mood. That's what I'm in. Move, that's his brothers making him move from the couch. Now I'm headed to a gray kind of place. Storm brewing inside that I hide cause I don't want any trouble space. Dark and swelling, looming, gloomy gray kind of place. That's what I'm in. And the story goes on uh, with Jamie describing for us uh, all the things he's feeling about so many different things that happened to him throughout the day. So that's what um, this particular book is about. And um, I'm so happy to share it with readers because it encourages kids to um, communicate their, their feelings in words or images or however they feel comfortable expressing it. And I think that's a really important thing for kids to learn how to do, to express themselves and to own all of their feelings, the happy ones and the not so happy ones. So that's what this book is about. Wow, that's really interesting. Could I ask you some questions? Sure, absolutely. What inspired you to become an author? Um, Reading, reading books to my children inspired me to want to become a children's book author in particular. Mm -hmm. I was a stay-at-home mom to three young children, and I was looking for something to do that was outside of the mommy stuff I had to do every day. And so it was while I was reading a picture book to my youngest daughter one day that I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is something that I can do. I love picture books um, myself. So, you know, I think I'm going to try to learn how to write them. And so that's what started my journey. Uh, also, um, what was your favorite book as a child? You know what? I didn't really have a favorite book as a young child. Uh, I mean, I, I remember some books that I read, like Dr. Seuss and stuff like that, but I can't really think of a book that really excited me or I could call my favorite book. Mm -hmm. Now, as an adult reading books with my children, picture books in particular, I now have some favorites. And one of them, a book that, that really is really special to me, it's called Our Gracie Aunt. And it was written by Jacqueline Woodson. And it's a story of a, a brother and a sister who have to go live with their aunt because their mother is um, unable to care for them at, you know, at this particular point in time. And, and I love that story so much because it takes a serious topic and it treats it so sensitively and lovingly and, and beautifully. So I, you know, I, I always say that's the type of book that I aspire to write. Um, I'm still working on it. I'm getting there. But um, that, that's one of my favorite books. That's nice. That's nice. Um, what's the significance of your book title? It's a mouthful, isn't it? My Cold Plum Lemon Pie Bluesy Mood. Um, the significance of that title, and, uh, and I have to say it was really a team effort because I titled the story In a Mood. That was the one I originally gave it, but my publisher didn't think it quite captured 
the tone of the story, you know, the lyrical jazzy language and all of the sensory rich imagery, like, you know, sight, sound, taste that's all throughout the story. So um, we kind of came up with this particular title together. And I, and I think it does capture the flow and feel of the story much better than In a Mood, so. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. um, if you could meet your characters, what would you say to them? That's an interesting question. Um, it's a good question. I think I would say to Jamie, I would, I would say great job in using your words um, in your own way to express what you're feeling. Um, good job with that. I would say good job with maintaining your self-control and dealing with your brothers because they're they're kind of bothersome to him throughout the story. Um, and I would also say great job for standing up for yourself because Jamie does that in the story as well. So yeah. those are things I would say to Jamie. To his brothers, his older brothers, I would say um, back off your little brother Jamie a bit. You know, don't be quite so bossy and so mean with the teasing, you know. And, and, be a, be a bit kinder to your little brother. I think that's what I would say to them. Mm. And where can our viewers purchase or check out your book? Like, where can they find more information about you? Yeah. Um, well, they can check out my books from the library. I have three that are published right now. Um, Around Our Way on Neighbor's Day, Brown Baby Lullaby, and the book that we read uh, that I shared with you earlier, which is My Cold Plum Lemon Pie Bluesy Mood. And they're also available pretty much anywhere books are sold. Um, but one of my favorite bookstores to recommend is Liberation Station Bookstore because they do so much to support um, literacy among our children. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and you can find out more information about me at my website, which is www.tamikafryerbrown.com. Dot com. Well, I would like to thank author Tamika Fryer Brown for joining us. And again, for more information on this author, please visit her website, www.tamikafryerbrown.com. Thank you. Thank you.